What is up guys, this is Nikolai, also known as It's Nickers, and welcome to another Minecraft video. In this video I'm gonna show you how to build this really small survival house. But even though this house is so small, it has enough space for you to survive the first few nights of your new survival world. I was so glad that, that I was able to fit so many cool details into this house. And if you guys think this house is one of your favorite, please hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. So right now, I think it's time to go in and build this house. Okay, so I found this very, very nice location right here where we're going to build the house. And I think this house is going to fit very, very nicely in this place right here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a log or a tree or whatever, just laying down like this. And then we're going to take it, we're going to delete that and then take it across going this way another log going this way and it has to be five in the middle here so one two three four five and the reason why we do this is simply because we want it to be even so we can place two things on this side two things on this side and a door in the middle right there so that's why we do this and as you can see right here in the corners what we're going to do is we're going to take that up that's going to be a pillar but this logs go all the way through here and sticks out here and this log goes all the way through here and goes this way and for the corners we're just going to put two pillars out here for support like supporting it's holding up this pillar so now just go over to this side do the same thing it's going to be three wide so let's just delete some of this grass here so we can make the support uh, i can't place it in there we go and now do this take the pillar up uh it's going only going to be three wide so just do this like that and take the support like that Perfect, now go ahead and take this log going all the way through to this corner right here and do this, the same thing again. Take the pillar up and make the support that way. Now do this and turn this around so it faces the upwards, just like that. So take the pillars up about three blocks, just like that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in these walls here. We're just gonna fill them in to start with, just with white wool, just perfect plain, but we're gonna change it a little bit later. Just fill it in for now with this white wall. So let me go ahead and do that. So over here and on the last side right here. Fill all this in and leave the door right in the middle. So right there. So leave a space for the door right there. Now go on the inside. Fill the whole floor in with uh, spruce wood planks. Just fill the whole floor in. Just like that. Go on the outside and go ahead and fill take it all the way across down here perfect now go ahead and take your stairs and make a little balcony here I think we're gonna make this little balcony so just turn the stairs around make them go like this perfect uh, like that so go ahead and make this where it's just a little balcony you can walk out on and you can walk perfectly down the stairs right there now going on this side what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spruce wood slabs and place them all the way across here now go ahead and take your logs, take them two up like this, and then put one in the middle like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to delete these at the back, only these so we can see this, and this. So delete this basically. Uh, and now, now what we're going to do is we're going to go on the outside again, go in, grab your windows, just your normal windows, just like that. And let's see, now we're just going to take our stairs, put two there two over on this side take it one over the edge so one the overhang of one block like that and take your slabs on top now go ahead and take your fences put two fences on each side just like that you should end up with this really nice uh, roof overhang a little bit here now go over on the other side do the same thing so take your slabs place them at the bottom there take your logs place two on each side facing the right way and then one in the middle Go on the inside and delete the white wall, just like this, so we can see, so we, make sure you, we can see this log right here and up here as well. So you only have these two in the corners right there, so do that. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go over and find our glass uh, windows again and place them in. Now do the same uh, roof shape as we did with the other side, so two stairs and one overhang, two stairs and one overhang. Now go ahead and place two slabs in the middle, just like that, and take your fence gate, fence gate for support, just like that. And now I think we're going to place a slab right there in the middle. We didn't do that on the other side. 
It just so it doesn't it doesn't look like the, this level here is flying. So it looks a little bit more complex. So that's what we're gonna do. Now for here in the, the middle, just where the door is, we're gonna place a upside down stair there. Go on the other side, place upside down stair there as well. Take two slabs on each side there. Place a cobblestone wall and a cobblestone cobblestone wall there. Put a fence gate on t uh, fences on top. Sorry, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place two trap doors on each side. Perfect. Make sure they're closed like that um, in towards the wall. Now place a slab on top of that and slab on top of that and then one on top of the door. And make sure the one on top of the door is a top slab, not so it's like perfectly uh, flat and make sure it's like a roof shape. Just like that and that's perfectly what we're going to do there. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to take these, we're going to take a one more up and take an overhang of one block. Take a one more up and an overhang. And now what we're going to do is just going to take logs all the way across at the top here. And now take your slabs, bottom slabs this time, just across there. Uh, let's see, yep, it's bottom slabs, perfect. Go over here, take this log across like this. So we're doing basically exactly the same as we did with the bottom, where when these two logs meet like this, this log meets with this log, we create um, a log facing upwards with two overhanging bits, just as we did with the bottom. So you do that on basically all four sides. So. Let me just do that very quickly. So here is that one. Take the log going all the way to the next corner right here. Uh, make the logs facing upwards and take two overhanging bits and then finish up this rectangle just like that. Now just go ahead and take your slabs again and place them on this side as bottom slabs all the way across just like that. Now go ahead and do the same thing as we did over here. So do slabs going all the way across here. Now just go ahead and delete this glass for me. Just so I get a little bit more room. And then we can just go ahead and quickly just grab our grass and place it in. If you have space, that's fine. But I need to do this because I don't have any space. Perfect. Now let me just grab my fence gate back. There we go. Now we're going to do the same thing as we did on the other side where the door is going to be. So two uh, upside down stairs there. A, a two slab, slabs there. And then we're going to need the grass again. Place the grass there. We need our trap doors. So go in and find your trap doors. Right there, replace it for the grass. And then place your trapdoor on the, gla uh, the glass right there, or the grass right there, and do that. Uh, not that. Only a single window this time. And then two trapdoors on each side, a slab on top, and make the roof shape. Now go over here, put two cobblestone wall and a two fences on top. Just like that. So that's pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go, go in and find our stone buttons. And just place them on basically all the sides that's uh, all the logs that's facing us. So on the top as well. So this is where just because that and the sticking out bit is a little bit plain, so we place a cobblestone stone button or a stone button on the side. So do that over here as well. And on the top. Oops. There we go. On the side. Make sure it's the side. We did it there. So now what we're gonna do is right here in the middle here. In, in the middle of these three, you're going to place a button there. In the middle of these three, place a button. And do it over here. Place a button and a button. Again, for a little bit of decoration. So that's good. Now let's just go ahead and see here. Let's think. We're going to start on the roof right now. So place a normal stair facing that way. A upside down stair there. Then we're going to go slab. Hello, double slab, double slab. And then I think... Uh, Double slab again, double slab again, and then take this slab up so it makes like a triple slab, and then a slab underneath just like that. And that's basically gonna be, this is the middle of the roof, it should be the middle lining up with the door that, right there. Now I just go ahead and take it down on this side, so just like that, a upside down stair there, and a regular stair right there. So this is basically the shape of the roof, so now just go ahead and take it up, take these stairs up, oops like that and then over here so take this stair up so it meets up in a triangle just like this so go ahead and take it even further up like that take this up and this so it should end up with this and delete these stairs that are down there we don't need those so that that's good now just go ahead and do the same thing over on this side here so a upside down stair a double slab and a double slab again take it across three times take one above 
and one down below and then let's see uh, slabs again place a slab going down uh, upside down stair here and a regular stair right there perfect so that's good now go ahead and take this side up in a triangular shape if I can get if I can get to place this block so there take it up in a triangle shape go over on this side and take this up take it even further up I think it deleted something down here no I didn't okay so go ahead and take this up and take so basically just take it up to until they meet so like that and now delete these two at the back or down the bottom now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go you can basically just choose any color you want of this clay but for this to draw I'm gonna do uh, choose this brown stain clay I really like this color because it really blends in with like the ground and the trees uh, you could choose like, um, what is the colors, let me just see, you could choose like orange but it's not going to fit if, if it's like a survival house, it's not going to fit very nicely in with the scenery of the trees if you build it in um, like a, an area where I am in with lots of green trees. This looks like a little bit of the trees, it blends in really nicely with the trees, the ground, the water and stuff. So that's why I'm going to use that, of course you can use anything. Uh, like if you're in a desert, I would not use the brown maybe. I would use uh, maybe something lighter. Let me see. If you, you can use this uh, white stain clay even though it's like, um, it's like a light red or something. But just use something that's going to fit where you're going to build it. So what I'm just going to do, here, right? so what I'm doing right here is I'm just like making a uh, making the uh, normal roof shapes as we always do so just take the slabs going all the way across here but in the middle find the middle so where the door is going to be right where this is you're going to take it up about three blocks like that so one so a whole double block so just two basic blocks and then take your slabs out now underneath here just go ahead and place a slab facing outwards or a stair facing outwards and a stair facing outwards here and the same over there and the same there and this is basically the top shape of the roof now on top in the middle here go ahead and place cobblestone walls cobblestones walls on both the ends and that should be pretty good now to hold us hold up this roof so it doesn't slide off or fall off or over time we're just gonna place uh well, where is it we place it here take uh, some rails just so it looks like it's like holding up the roof so that's pretty good so let's just do this on this side as well so like this and if this tree can move and I can place it right there perfect so now we just need to do the end uh, the end bits here so what we're gonna do is uh, as we always do we're gonna take a support pillar sticking out one over the edge so basically a log going all the way through this house sticking one over the edge and now for this bit what we're just gonna do is we're gonna place uh, wood just there and go ahead and take our um, wool place two there let's see then we're gonna take our slabs place them in a roof shape going like that go ahead and find your fences place two fences there and a window right there so that's what we're gonna do for the this roof shape so now for the this but before we do that bit uh, just so I can get in we're gonna take our stained clay again and just take it all the way across here just to uh, fill in that space now we're going to do this side, so go ahead and take your logs again, place one log there, one log there, take these two logs up just like that, and now go ahead and fill this in with wool, just like that, and then the, a roof shape with slabs just like that, place two uh, fences underneath for support, delete that and place a window right there. So that should be pretty good, now just one last thing we're going to do is we're going to take stone buttons and put them there and put one on this side as well just like that and need to fill in this window so go in and grab your window down there that's not my window that's my log go ahead and place that in so now what we are just gonna do as a very last thing is we're just gonna add a little bit of cobwebs maybe some lily pads and some vines maybe some leaves and stuff just a little bit around and we, uh, we need to place the door in and the window on the other side so now let's just see, maybe we can place a little bit around. For this build, I tried doing some testing. Uh, if you place too many leaves, it's gonna look really weird. So just place a few, just like that, that's gonna be good. And now some lily pads in this uh, leg right here. 
just again to finish out the build, do some landscaping, it's always 40% uh, landscaping, remember that, so 40% landscaping, that's what we're doing right now, so do a little bit around here, um, I know my rule is 40% landscaping, but I don't normally keep up with that in the video, but if I do like projects for some people, I normally keep up with that promise that I do 40% landscaping, but um, but for this video, the video would be too long if I had to do 40% landscaping, so I'm just gonna go with about like let's say 20 or maybe even 10, but you get the point. You have to do landscaping just to make your build look a lot better, so just like that. And now as a one last little thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some randomization with the wall some randomizing so we're going to take our light gray wall and then replace some of the white wall with uh, some different some uh, different types of uh, gray wall so just a little bit around not too much just like that so and the reason why we all uh, we do this as I've said like a million times is because when they built these houses in the old days they didn't always have the same material for the whole house they they just used whatever they they had or they could find so if they had a little they had a normal wooden plank or something they would just use it right there so that's why we do that little randomized there so I think this is pretty good for this little survival house this house has a lot more detail than the other house we did but I think this house is really good as well and it's very simple and it looks really 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 good so if you guys like this house uh, feel free to build it in any survival world and also feel free to like this video and if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to my YouTube channel and this has been Ithnikers and I'm out. I'll see you later guys. Take care.